This macro is a great example of how Keyboard Maestro can speed up mundane everyday tasks. I personally use this macro every workday when I post my daily update, which is a practice that we implement at Asian Efficiency to help us communicate more effectively as a remote team what we're working on so we can get assistance from others on the team who may be able to help us get unstuck. At Asian Efficiency, we use the Atlassian software suite, Jira, Confluence, and HipChat. So every day, each team member creates a blog post in their personal Confluence space with their list of tasks for the day. This post always follows the same format with a standard title format of du colon year dash month dash day space weekday. Underneath the titles, we use a WYSIWYG editor to create a table with a couple of columns, status, issue, and notes. The status column consists of a checkbox to indicate whether the item was worked on, the issue field contains the link to the actual task in JIRA, and the notes field contains a short description of what will be worked on. Now it's possible to manipulate this entire process simply by using keyboard shortcuts. For example, the tab key will switch the fields when typing and using brackets and confluence will create a checkbox. So what I did based on Tan's example is create a keyboard maestro macro that types all of the keystrokes in a quick succession so I can just trigger the macro and then the whole process is handled automatically, giving me a blank template to work off of when I create my daily update. Here's the keyboard maestro macro. Let me walk you through this step by step. The first couple keystrokes are actually keystrokes that I use to fire a text expander snippet for populating the title of the post, which is the du colon year dash month dash day space weekday part. This will trigger a text expander snippet which uses the following code. Next I use the down arrow keystroke to move from the title of the post to the post itself. I pause 0.3 seconds to allow my computer to, to catch up. Once I'm in the body of the post, I type Shift Command I, which is the keyboard shortcut for creating a table inside of Confluence. I pause for 0.3 seconds to give the window a chance to pop up, type the return keystroke, which creates the default table size of four rows by three columns. I pause for 0.3 seconds again so that the table can be inserted into the post and then I insert the text status. Then I press tab to switch to the next column. I insert the text issue, hit tab again, insert the text notes, and hit tab again. Now I'm ready to start creating the checkboxes for my issues. And I do this by inserting the text double brackets, typing the down arrow keystroke, typing double brackets again, typing the down arrow keystroke again, and then finally typing double brackets again. Here's what this looks like in action. 